Good morning. I'm gonna try and vlog today because Alex just left and it's a Maddie day. So it's gonna be a solo Maddie vlog. He left with his brother. His brother came down yesterday and we had an amazing day in Brighton. We had such a nice day and um, he's gone back to Surrey with his brother who his brother's now going back to uni. And um, Alex is gonna spend a day or two with his mum. And yeah, I'm having a day by myself today. So I'm gonna treat this as a kind of like a self-care day, but also I've got some work to do. I've had a pretty <laughs> week. Uh, I get really severe, just like PMS. I don't know if that's the right phrase for it, but I get very depressed and anxious and miserable before my period. And my sister gets this as well. I know loads of women get this. Um, luckily this period I didn't get any cramps because I often get cramps, like really bad cramps. My mood is insanely affected to the point where it really affects everything in my life. So like work, relationships, everything, it's really bad. So I'm kind of glad that I'm getting out of that slump and what's been really helping me is exercise. So I'm gonna go to the gym in a minute and um, yeah, it's been something consistent in my life recently, exercising and doing it properly and getting my fitness up that's been it's just transformed how I deal with like anxiety and feeling de depressed or feeling sad. So if you experience that, I know it's like the opposite thing that you want to do before your period, but or on your period. But honestly, the other day I was having a really bad moment and I went to the gym and I forced myself and I felt so much better. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a, a work day slash self-care day slash I don't know what really I'm going to do today. But it's so nice to be by yourself sometimes when you live with somebody. It's nice to just be on your own and do your own thing and not have to think about anyone else but yourself. I love that. I'm sure that you do too. It's a really nice feeling. Also the marathon is on right now in Brighton. So um, I might see if I can see that. Well, I'm not really sure because we don't live in Brighton. We live in Hove, which is next door to Brighton. I'm not sure what time it's gonna pass through Hove. I think Alex said it was like after lunch. So it's likely it's not gonna happen when I get back from the gym, but I might like nip out after lunch and see if I can see anyone running past. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do first. So let's go to the gym. like just laid out the the water and there wasn't very many people so it's obviously the, the fastest people and now there's loads of people coming around there's loads of people with um shirts saying vegan runners on it i've been going like Woo, vegan runner it actually makes me feel a bit emotional i don't know why they're so dedicated and they all look so like just, i don't know it's amazing it makes me really inspired i want to do this next year with alex i'd love to i'm gonna go see if they're at the front though because I've got to go to the gym, I can't just, I can't just sit here stand here. As much as I'd like to, I could literally stand here for ages, I feel like. It's so fun to watch everyone. They are running along the front. Can you see them? I'm not sure what mile this is though. They look fast, so yeah. It's funny because I was seeing a lot of like the same people running around. I recognise them because I saw their like shirts or whatever. I feel like these are like the two hour runners. Three hour runners. So here's the marker. 3 out of 15. So I was right. Woo! I love seeing, because I, I was right, that, that was like the 2 hour, 3 hour people. And there's so many vegan runners. Woohoo, vegan! <laughs> right, I'm gonna go to the gym now. I feel like a fraud.
I'm just home now and I realised that my um, camera battery died mid-workout. But that workout's a variation on a video that I um, I can link below because I was, I was googling like HIIT workouts to be able to do in the gym and I copied and pasted it and wrote it down on my phone except I changed it a little bit because I just did regular burpees or burpees that I can do because the video says to do squat burpees. I don't know how to do those, that's complicated to me. So I'm home now, I watched some more of the marathon and I got really inspired and I really want to do it next year. It's literally so inspiring seeing all those people going, just going for it and not giving up and I wanna do it. I don't know, should I do the marathon next year? Let me know what you think. But I'm really tempted and I'm not sure Alex is as tempted. He was like, oh, I'd rather do a cycling like London to Brighton or something. But I just feel like it's not the same thing because I feel like with cycling, you can cycle for a long time and just keep going. But running is so hard to do for a long time. So I don't know, I just would love to be able to say that I've done the marathon. But I realized, um my workout in the gym got cut off so i'll write out what i did down below if any of you are interested i have been doing it for like on and off and i want to do, keep on doing it until i am oh, like better at it because i can't do burpees right now properly for a long time i get so tired i have to do like half burpees where i don't like jump and then like do a squat do a, a push-up i do kind of like something in between there because i just can't do it for 30 seconds and I want to keep doing this workout until I'm able to do it because I'm really good at other things like I can easily do bicycle crunches or I don't know push-ups or I don't know I can do other things I just can't do burpees I don't know if that's because I'm so tall I have no idea why but I really want to get my fitness up with that and it I felt so inspired when I was in the gym I was like yeah because seeing all those marathon runners I was like well if they can do that then I can do this because by the third round of that hit workout I was like mm, I can't be doing this right now because I'm really tired and I'm on my period but I just did it anyway and it made me feel really good now I am about to watch Pretty Little Liars which is a terrible show I know but I watched it years ago and it's one of those TV shows it's kind of like Gossip Girl that is kind of really bad but it's also just really good because it's so bad and it's a great in the background TV show because I have lots of work to do on my website. If you didn't know, I'm putting together my website. It's so close to being done. I have put on there so much content and I'm so excited to have a website because it's something I should have done a really long time ago and I never got around to doing. And because I'm creating so many recipes, I'm putting them in the description of my videos and it makes so much more sense to have them on a website. So. I'm going to be working on that for the next few hours. I was going to do another video, but the last two weeks, I've, last week I didn't put out any videos on my channel, and then this week I've only done one because I've just been doing so much for my website and it's taking over a little bit, but I just want to get it done. Hopefully next week I'll get two videos out, but I just really want to get this website done by the end of this month. Um, fingers crossed, and then I can go back to doing regular videos. But anyway, I'm blabbing. That was a lot of information. But let me know if you want me to do the marathon next year and I can start training. I had this call to start running. I really do love running. When I'm in the gym, I love going on the treadmill. I love doing sprints. Just then I did like a 10 minute run, which I haven't done in the gym since starting the gym. I've only ever done sprints. And I also went on like a 5K run when I was in London the other week because I just fancied it and they, I wanted to do some exercise, but obviously I couldn't use a gym because I don't have a membership there. And I'm just thinking like, I really want to start running. It's what I used to do when I was a kid. It was my thing. My main thing that I did when I was younger was running and swimming. I loved, I loved running so much. So I might do it. I might sign up. And hopefully if I do, I can raise some money because you guys can help me. <laughs> so we can raise some money for a, a charity. I'm ready to go. Back when I got you to smile, I thought I might try for a kiss. Now I think I'll wait, but I'm gonna keep my options open. So I kind of forgot I was vlogging and I have made myself dinner and I should have vlogged it. Um, I've made myself some lentil dal. I'm sorry, Alex, I know that you were looking forward to this, but um, I forgot that the shop shut at 4 p.m. on a Sunday and so I couldn't go and get anything else. So I've made lentil dal, which is a recipe from my ebook, and I also added in some carrot, which I don't usually do because it's a little. Good. It's a look.
because it's a good hack to add in extra veg um, to your meal without you being able to taste it. I'm not a massive fan of carrots, but they're really cheap vegetables and they're really good if you grate them in food. So you can grate them in like pasta sauce or curries and you don't really taste them. So it's a nice little hack for you if you wanna get some more veg in your diet. And I'm having it with some spinach and brown rice. And then I'm definitely gonna finish off this bar of chocolate, which I got from Infinity Foods in Brighton and I've eaten most of. This is the best or my favorite. Thing is, I say that, but then every time I try different vegan chocolate brands, I love it. It's one of my favorite vegan chocolate brands. Um, there's another brand called iChop, which I love, but this one is very good. It's, woo! Oh my God, I've only got like a tiny little bit left, like this much, so I'll have that afterwards for pudding. This evening, I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a pamper, put on a face mask and watch a movie that Alex wouldn't watch. So maybe either a girly movie or a documentary because those are the two things that Alex is not massive fans of. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna dish this out now. Looks beautiful. Guess who's on the phone? Say hello, Alex. Hello. I'm vlogging hello. you. Hello, hello. <laughs> so Alex hello. is in the vlog today. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a message of um, wisdom? Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> Peace okay. on earth and goodwill to all men. Okay, well done, thank you. Bye, Alex. Bye, vlog. Love you. Like you too. <laughs> Bye. I cut my finger, did I tell you? I don't think I did. I just took the plaster off. I grated like my knuckle when I was grating the carrot. Ah, the website's coming along so well. So well. I'm so happy with it and it's so close to being done. Yee! So I'm gonna carry on. Working hard. I made myself a cup of tea like an hour ago and I totally forgot about it. The worst thing is when you reheat tea, it's just not the same. And I don't have very much soy milk left. In fact, I don't think I only have enough for one more cup of tea. So... Hmm, I think I, I suppose I could have it now. I was thinking oh, I should save it for tomorrow, but no, I'll have it now. I'm gonna remake it. I'm gonna remake my, treat myself and have a whole other cup rather than reheating it. Cause when you reheat it, it just doesn't taste like tea. It, the milk gets cooked in the microwave and it's weird. Time for a fresh cup. Sorry about you. I know this is a waste, but it's a self care day. <laughs> Not that any, a any particular day should be a self-care day. Every day should be a self-care day. It's just today is a, a more, a less of a work day, more of a do what I want to do day. It's all gone. Look at this perfect cup of tea. One, two, three. Huh. <laughs> Come with me, little one. And I won't forget about you this time, I promise. I'm also having the luxury of watching vlogs on the television because Alex would never let me do that. Well, he, he would let me do that, but he would be a bit bored of the stuff that I want to watch. I t we tend to watch our, well, he doesn't really watch YouTube, but blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I tend to watch my YouTube videos on my laptop with my headphones in because I know that I like random content that he would never be interested in. So it's quite nice. I'm like sat doing my website bits and it's come so far. I'm so happy. I feel like it's almost ready to go live. Like it's so close. I've just got to check over some things. But yeah, I'm doing that whilst watching like YouTube videos and it's just the best thing. I want to do this like every day. It's so good. It's like doing work casually. It's, I don't know, it's just really nice. I feel like you've got some company and yeah, I think I ought to do it where I listen to podcasts or something while I mindlessly work. I suppose the only reason I'm able to do this is because it's on my website and I don't need to think. I'm doing just like admin -y, boring kind of settings, changing settings and solving problems and stuff. But I've done my fact page, I've done my content contact page, I've fiddled around with all the design and the layout and it's really coming together. And I'm kind of at the point now where I need to just go over everything. And there's, I've just written a list of some photographs that I need to take 
um, because the photographs I have aren't good enough because at the time when I took them they were just for video thumbnails which is quite different from a blog photo so I'm boring you <laughs> but yeah this week I'm gonna have to retake some of these pictures so I've written that down and then once that's that's done I'm hoping to have it up by the end of the month I have to set a date now I think that's what I'll do tomorrow is I'll set a date for it all to be done by so that I can just get it done and then it's over with and then every time I release a video there'll be a blog post to accompany it or multiple blog posts because all the recipes will be written up and also for people who maybe don't speak English or who are hard of hearing can read the blog post that will accompany it so if I do a minimalism video of like 10 things or whatever I'll ha have an accompanying blog post so that you can read it as well as watch it which I think will be really helpful because I have the option for people to make closed captions on my videos but I just don't have the time to do it myself so I thought it would be better to have it on my blog anyway I feel like today has been a very chatty day and I know that Alex is probably going to hate me for editing this yes I certainly do so I'm going to go now there are no face masks involved today sadly <laughs> it's just me and my cup of tea because I'm in, I'm on a roll I and mean, I've got like a little surge of energy on a Sunday evening at 20 to 9 and I want to get a lot of more work done now and then go to bed um, before midnight. I'll go to bed early. I just feel, while I'm by myself, sometimes it's a really good time to just feel motivated. So anyway, oh, I don't know, something about seeing the marathon runners today has got me inspired in general. So. I'm going to drink my tea, I'm going to shut up because I've chatted to the camera because I haven't had anyone else to talk to today. <laughs> and um, I will see you in the next vlog. Hopefully Alex will be accompanying me in that one. So see you then.